السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته برايز بي تو الله سبحانه وتعالى peace and blessing be upon our prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم welcome my dear brothers and sisters to this very quick reminder today to do with friendship value and it is actually it makes you or it breaks you this life this harsh hard life actually we could never handle it without having true sincere friendship so therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pinpointed this reality in the holy quran by saying إنما المؤمنون إخوة means the believers they are friends they are uh, uh, brothers so therefore if we realize one matter in this life that nothing is free when it comes to something في سبيل الله even friendship when it's في سبيل الله you get paid for it big time in the hereafter and in this life it will be a delicious taste would soothe your life it will make it smooth and it will actually give it a delicious taste in the hereafter rasulullah said sab'a yadhalluhum allah fi dhallihi wa la dhalla illa dhall seven allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would shade them in his shade where there's no shade but the shade of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of them Two people, they love each other for the sake of Allah. They meet for the sake of Allah and they separate for the sake of Allah. So therefore, there is something uh, in Arabic says, Iz nafsak tijidha, means value yourself. You will find yourself valuable. Means cherish yourself. Others will cherish you. So if you collect uh, uh, whatever and whoever kind of friends and you bring them, To your heart, rest assured, your heart will be devastated and humiliated. So therefore, make sure that you have a quality people in your life. If you happen to be a quality person, you will attract quality people. Birds of a feather flock together. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us realize that even meetings of the brothers, لقاء الإخوان جلاء الأحزان أد Uh, as Umar ibn Khattab عنه, pinpointed this reality. Sometimes you are in worries and distraction and anxiety and uh, feeling bad. But when you get together with the quality friends, with the quality brothers, with the quality companions, they distract your heart from worries and anxiety. And you find yourself, subhanAllah, truly it cleans and it removes sadness. Take a look at this. scenario of a brothership and relationship a man visiting uh, his friend in the hospital and then right away as soon he found out his illness and the diagnosis said oh, oh 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 my auntie died from the same disease and my neighbor he just got distract uh, attract this disease just recently and oh his situation is terrible may Allah help you may Allah help you and you know what oh I just remembered another friend I used to he was in my high school and he actually died from the same illness may Allah help you may Allah help you when he left and by the door he asked his ill friend would you like anything would you like me to bring you something next visit he said yes I'd like something what he said don't ever come again So let us just realize that friendship, it is a matter of helping you and boosting your morale and strengthening you. described us as a brick wall. We support each other. We lean on each other. We strengthen each other. Another situation, and this is true situation, these two incidents true. A man visiting his friend, his buddy in the hospital, bringing food, bringing juice, squeezing the juice and bringing it to him, fresh juice, massaging his foot day after day. And then one day, his friend told him, don't come back. What? Why? What did I do wrong? He said, don't come back. Wallahi, every time. This is the ill person telling his friend, his kind friend, he's saying, Wallahi, every time I offered you juice, I spit in that juice. Because of certain race and certain uh, religious denomination, the difference. So he was carrying that grudge in his heart. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us realize that you could expect mistake from friends. You could expect shortcoming. Al-khata, al-nisyan, al-taqsir means mistake, uh, to forget sometimes, and to shortchange a friend. These all 
we could forgive and forget. So wonderful brothers and sisters, be careful who you keep as a friend. Relationship, because that body you have in this life could do you to goodness or to tragedy or to a terrible uh, ending or could be the one who will cause shafa'a for you in the hereafter. Shafa'a means he will intercede for you in the hereafter. Allahu Akbar. You are short of your hasanat. He beg Allah to enter you in the Jannah. And this actually works, shafa'a. My dear brothers and sisters also, to realize that your friend, your sincere, organic, genuine, good body, good companion, this will be your bank manager would lend you at any time with no interest will be your courier will help you carrying things will be your psychiatrist will advise you will do this will do that all this in one friend and speaking of advice right as shafi'i said تعمدني بنصحك في انفرادي وجنبني النصيحة في الجماعة فإن النصح بين الناس نوع من التوبيخ لا أرض استماعة الشافعي May Allah be pleased with him, said about advising and about friendship, intend advising me in a privacy, avoid advising me in the public. Advice is in the public, it is a type of slandering I do not listen to, I do not accept. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, realize also that you keep the type of buddies, the type of friends that when you are in a trouble, when you are on your knee they don't kick you in the face when you are in a trouble and when you are feeling the pain of this life they are not happy it's called shamata ill happy feeling rasulullah warned from this terrible habit by saying la tudhir ash-shamata bi akhik fa yarhamuhu allah wa yabtaliik rasulullah what who's rasulullah the chief engineer of happiness and the champion of success always saw sallallahu alayhi muhammad to live a good life he said don't show shamata don't show ill happy feeling against your brother means against your buddy against your friend against your companion and it works in many ways and means allah might be merciful upon him and put you in his place means Allah may relieve him and put you in his place and his trial and his tragedy in his musibah. So be careful who you keep as a friend. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam kept Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and other big winners as a friend. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq with Rasulullah sallallahu in the cave in danger. Death is so near, so near, perhaps maybe a foot away from them and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam this is the friend, this is the companion, this is the big winner. In a calm, cool way, told him, ما بالك بإثنين الله ثالثهما What do you think of two? Allah is the third one. Calming Rasul, calming Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, calming his friend. And Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, one time they came to him and said that Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, claimed that he traveled overnight from Mecca to Jerusalem, Masjid al-Haram al- al- al-Masjid al-Aqsa to Jerusalem, to Masjid Al-Aqsa. He said, without him even knowing that Rasulullah did go also to the heavens, Al-Isra, Wal-Mi'raj. So he, they told him only about Isra. He said, if he say that he even went to the heavens, I believe him. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the trust between buddies. This is the trust between friendship. This is the trust between companions to think good of each other. Not because of a mistake, you cancel the relationship. Never, never cancel the relationship because of a mistake. But of course, if a person's habit, if a person's type to backstab all the time, no, that red flag you need to take seriously and to big make a big X, big X in this relation. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us realize if you forget this whole talk, remember one verse in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and this helps tremendously in relationship, friend with his friend, with his companion, sister, everyone. But so many friends, so many relationships got destroyed because they don't use this verse from the Holy Quran. Ya ayyuhaladina amanu, in ja'akum fasakum binabin fatabayanu. Oh, you believe if a rebellious comes to you, with the news, 
right away verify allah did not just say verify allah said fatabayyanu fatabayyanu means right away verify many relationship many but many buddies many friends they canceled the relation they became enemies they fought each other because they never checked and they never verified that bad news or that gossip or that backstabbing they never verified so be careful if you take an advantage today just realize my dear brothers and sisters that um i'm running out of time realize that uh, in relationship and to preserve that precious relation to preserve that i won't say perfect there's no one perfect except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve that pre precious relation make sure to think good of each other and if there's anything happening if there's any turbulence if there's any storm hitting the relation fatabayyanu verify and i would leave you with this thought that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us to unsur akhaka zaliman aw mazluman make your brother that means your friend your buddies your whatever make him victorious whether he is oppressed means bullied oppressed or he is the oppressor how if he is the oppressor help him to stop the bullying and oppressing people and if he is oppressed give him hand to become victorious so my dear brothers and sisters may allah keep loving you blessing you let us just in a nutshell realize that friendship is so valuable if you cherish yourself if you make yourself and find yourself valuable you don't just keep any type of buddies and call them friends no some of them they are big crooks and they would ruin your life so if you are a quality person keep that quality people and the quality in a relationship that you pray together not just play together pray together jazakumullah khair if you find that this talk useful spread it jazakumullah khair if you find that this 10 minutes or 12 minutes useful spread it you get the reward rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said adal al khair ka fa'ilihi those who lead to a good deed as if the one who's doing it trust me my dear brothers and sisters this 12 minute to deliver the speech it needs 5 hours of preparation not just prepare, preparing the studio preparing the talk preparing this preparing that before and after during so you get it the easy way within seconds send the blessings send and share the benefits jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh